Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to my Minecraft Security Breach tutorial remake. I have remade this video since many people in the original tutorial had a lot of struggling figure out, figuring out where to place the blocks and eventually ended up in the wrong place. But for the people who managed to complete the video, that is very surprising. Now, part two should have already been out, but I had to remake this video first for the people who could not complete the previous part one. But part two should be out shortly after this, and you can go ahead and unsubscribe if you want to, but you can never rush creativity. But part two will be out hopefully shortly after this video. Now, once again, a couple things I must let you know before building this. If you guys are building this on Java Edition, like I said in the last video, change the flat world settings to overworld so you have room for the basements or anything that goes below the pizza plex. For bedrock players, I do not think you have that option, but still build it on a flat world so and just start building it 50 blocks in the air so you have room below. Now, just one last thing I must let you know is that I mess up about three to four times, but they are not that big of mistakes. And if you have any other suggestions on how to make these tutorial videos better, better for you guys, then go ahead and let me know. But for now, let's go ahead and get started into this tutorial. Alright, the blocks that you will need to start building this are smooth quartz, smooth quartz stairs, polished deep slate, polished deep slate stairs, white and black concrete, and polished andesite. Alright, now let's go ahead and get started building on this. So grab all of these blocks, and go anywhere in your world and place six blocks of white and black concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then place eight polished in insight. Make sure it's eight blocks wide. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now bring this up 27 blocks. So starting here, this is the first block, so it should go 27 blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So it's 27 blocks in all. It should start with white concrete and end with white concrete. Now just go ahead and line it up with the end of the black concrete and go ahead and bring it all the way down. And make sure it lines up perfectly. Once you have done that, go ahead and fill all this in. All right, now that we have done that, get your polished and in sight, and go ahead, we are going to do the same thing as the black and white tiles. So just go ahead, go all the way out until it touches the very top of the black and white concrete, and just fill all of this in. Once you have done that, go ahead and repeat that on the exact same side. All right, now that we are done there, let's go ahead and get started on the main massive door. So grab your smooth quartz and go to the very edge of this polished and in sight. Place one, it should be five blocks wide. So one, two, three, four, five. Whoops, sorry, five. So five blocks and then place four extra. So it's a five by five. And just fill all that in. Once you have done that, just repeat that on the on this side right here. So five blocks wide, add four blocks, so that's five by five. And there we go. So you, you should have two smooth quartz five by five cubes. And once you have done that, go ahead and grab your smooth quartz stairs, actually, and place them all along the top. And just do the exact same thing over here. Oops. Now, um, just place one block on each end of the stairs and grab your polished deep slate and it should go all the way across to the very end and just fill this whole entire door in using polished deep slate. Now that you have done that, go ahead and grab your polished deep slate stairs and place them all across the top. After that, now just place polished deep slate all the way in the back. All right, now that you have done that, grab sea lanterns and black carpet. Place your sea lanterns all along the back there and place black carpet all over them so it's hard to see. And when it's dark in the pizza plex, the door will be glowing. All right, so now let's go ahead and start with the outlining of the walls. So go ahead, grab magenta, red, pink, and light blue concrete. Now go ahead, we're going to work on one of these side walls that leads out onto both sides. Um, go ahead and place magenta concrete that starting from that edge it should go one two three four five six seven from the seventh block place one two three four 
and then place one pink, one magenta, one light blue, then place one, two, three magenta, and one pink block on the very end. And once you have done that, it should look just like this. Now go ahead and repeat this same thing on this side. So f start from the corner and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It should be seven blocks. Then from the seventh, place four, then place pink, one magenta, one light, place three, and then one pink. And just make sure it's identical and they line up perfectly. Now on the walls, there's this big red pillar. So just place them like that. Two on There's two blocks on this side and two blocks on this side. So it should look just like that. And also just put that on this side too. And once you have done that, now let's go ahead and start working on the main walls over here. Now, go ahead, grab magenta concrete and green concrete. And starting from this pink block right here, you're, you are going to place six blocks out. Then go up one from there and place one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be six blocks and six blocks. Then with green concrete, place four green concrete, place another four, and then two. And then just place magenta concrete in the back just to cover that up. And then, using more magenta concrete, place two extra blocks. Go up one, place one, two, three, four. Go up another, place one, two, three, four. Go up another, and place one, two, three, four. And then on the fourth block, place two extra. And from that block, get polished deep plate and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then place two magenta concrete blocks there. So nine polished deep plate and two magenta concrete. Place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Sorry, I got a little off count, but it is twenty-three blocks from that last block. So it's twenty-three blocks. And then on this block, place one, two, three, four. Place one, two, three, four again, and then place three across the top. And it should look just like this. So it should have two blocks on the side and three on the top. Then place magenta concrete behind the green concrete. And then place one, two, three, four. And then go ahead and grab pink concrete. And place one just on the very end, right there. Now go ahead on the back of this pink block, place one block, so that is one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that is fifteen blocks. And then place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen. The sixteenth is that magenta. So there is a fifteen block gap, and on that sixteenth block is the magenta concrete. So this here is one block. So place that's one, two, three, four. So four blocks. And from that fourth block, um, go ahead and actually get pink and light blue concrete, place one pink, one magenta, and one light blue, and then place one, two, magenta, place one, two, magenta, place one, magenta, and then just build all the way across until it gets to that corner of the polished and in sight. And as you can see, this is actually out of place, so go ahead and add one extra row of polished and in sight and black and white concrete. Just to make sure that it is all aligned with this part right here. And now we are going to go ahead and start working on this side here. So go ahead, grab your magenta concrete from this block, place one, two, three, four, five, six. So six blocks, go up one, place the one, two, three, four, five, six again. So six and six, then place four green concrete, and four again, and then two extra, and just fill in that back. And then place two magenta concrete. Then go up one, place one, two, three, four, five, six. Go up another, one, two, three, four, five, six. Go up again, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And then from that six block, place three green concrete. And actually, no, um, get rid of that. From this block, place one, two, three, and then one, two, three. No, sorry, one, two, and then fill in magenta concrete there, going two blocks out. And then grab your pink concrete and place one on the very end. So it should look just like that. And then from this block here, place one, two, then go up one. And then one, two, three, go up another, place one, two. And then place one, two, three, four. And then place four green concrete, then three. And then go ahead and raise it up one more. 
So it should, look, it should look like that. And from this block, place one, two, three, four, five, six. Place red concrete for a two gap for a two door that will lead out there. Place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then from the eighth block, place one, two, three, four, five. And then six, actually. Then go ahead and grab your pink concrete and place it on the end. No, sorry, right there. Then place four green concrete, so it should look just like this. And then behind this block, starting from this block, place 27 blocks. So that should be 27 blocks in all. And then from this here, place three, then three, and then two. So it should look like that. Then behind it, go ahead and, oops. From this block, place one, two, and then place pink concrete. And then from this block, place one, two, three, four, five. On the fifth block, go up two. From this block, place one, two, three, four, five. And then place two more up from this block. Just go all the way until it hits to the end. Alright, so I have made a mistake. As you can see, this is lining up there, but it's not matching up with that block. Don't worry, this is a very easy fix and there's it's not a big, big mistake. So, first of all, get rid of this row that we added earlier. So, it should look I'll line up with that. And this, all you have to do is just move this back by one. Just this wall and that part there. So go ahead and do that part right there and it should look just like that so keep everything the same and now it is perfectly lined up so that is now all fixed so just keep this part exactly how it is all you have to do is just move this wall one upward and then same with that wall right there and now we can go ahead and continue outlining so after that come along over here and starting from this block place one one light blue one one pink and then place one magenta so it's just adding four extra blocks from there. All just line it up with this here. So all, that's all you have to do. Just make sure it connects. And then go two blocks out. So right here, I have a door. That is the door leading into this area there. And from this block, place all the way out. And it should match up exactly with that side right there. Then from here, place one. And then have a one gap. That's going to be the vent. Place one, two, three blocks four blocks there. Now go ahead and stop there and come over to this side and from this block place 11 blocks. Now from this block place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 15 blocks. Place 3 red blocks for a 3 block gap and place 2 magenta blocks on the end. Now moving back over to this side starting on this block place 1, 2, 3 and then have a 2 block gap for a door place one block there and go ahead you are going to need to place glass so place and three glass in the middle and place one magenta block on the side then place one downward at an angle like that then place another two red concrete for a two door place one block there and no actually sorry place one more downward and then go ahead place um at an angle like that glass so it should be two on top two on the bottom and place one magenta on that glass. So make sure it's sitting on that glass. And place seven blocks in all. So one, that's seven blocks in all. Now, working on this side, go ahead and place four polished end in sight and one down. Then place glass all along the top. Now go ahead and grab black concrete. And place one right on that glass. Have a two block gap right there for a door. And then place black concrete. Then place polished andesite and an angle like that. And get lime concrete and place three there. And then place three magenta over that. So it should look like that. And then place two polished andesite with glass. And then get your light blue concrete. And place two light blue concrete like that. Now working on the walls. Place 16 blocks of magenta concrete. Starting from the blue it should be 16 blocks out. And then, with smooth sandstone, go all the way until you have a five block gap from the magenta wall. And from there, place four stairs, and then one magenta block there. Sorry, magenta. And go all the way to the end and place a pink block on the corner. So it should look just like that.
Now, go over to these stairs and go ahead, place one block and place one, two, oop, two, three, and four rows of stairs. So it is five sets of stairs in all. And then with your um, concrete, place one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So it should look like that. Then just grab your sandstone and cover it up all the way. Just to outline the edges. And now with the stairs, place sandstone and place one, two, and three sets of stairs. Go ahead and connect the walls upward. And grab your concrete and place one, two, one, two, three. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. And then just connect the sandstone. From there, and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and just line it up. Then from here, place 1, 1, one block, then 2, then, then 3, and then 4. And then just go ahead and line up the sandstone. And now go ahead, place one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Line up the sandstone once again. Place two pink concrete blocks right there. Now go ahead and grab sea lanterns because in game there is a giant wraparound screen and just outline it just like we did with the sandstone. Except bring it all the way down to about. I'd say there. No, sorry, right there. So the second, the, on the third stair, there. Just wrap it with sea, sea lanterns. And now, now that we are here, go ahead, grab your sandstone, place two sandstone, place black concrete, which is for a small window, place another, then place another two sandstone, from there place two more, then place a magenta block over it, and from the back place four spruce planks, and place one magenta block up in the corner. Now once you have done that, go ahead, grab your magenta concrete, and bring it all the way out until it lines up with the very end, so it should look, it should ma match up identically there. And then all you have to do is just match up everything on the bottom, so bring the windows out four, so it should look just like that. Add black concrete there, have a two, two block gap. And you can go ahead and raise these up, so it should connect perfectly with the, with everything on the top. Put, you can go put a window across, and all you have to do is just mirror everything from the bottom to the top and put magenta concrete there. Go ahead and put three more, and then two more glass, and then two two more light blue concrete. And you can go ahead, um, you can also go ahead and bring these up if you want to. I recommend doing that. So once you have done that, it should now look just like this, and everything on the top row should be identically with the bottom. Now go ahead, grab your magenta concrete, and from this block, place two blocks out, place a red...
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Sorry, that is 11 blocks. And on the 12th block, place a polished andesite. Now, we are going to make the elevators. So place two purple concrete, have a two block gap there, and two purple concrete on the end. Place two blocks upward, then place two across, and just place all the way across from the top. So it should look like this shape. Now, with using the polished andesite, place, um, wait, no. Sorry, place two blocks going out on just outlining everything on the inside so th that is what you should see grab your sea lanterns place two there for the lights under and get red concrete and place all the way up above like this and place two more there and that is the main elevator the first one's all done now go ahead and grab your red concrete and place one there and from this block place one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen on the 15th block, place polished and insight, and now just go ahead and repeat the exact same thing I did with the elevator. Two blocks there, going up, two blocks across, a block going all the way across, and place two blocks of andesite, just outlining the whole thing on the inside. Get two, two sea lanterns, and red concrete, just going all the way around. And that is now elevator two, all done. Now. Moving on here, place one block there. Then from that block, place 11 extra blocks. That is 11 blocks. From the 11th block, place one, two, three, four, five. Then place two more and place two polished andesite. So that is five blocks here. Then from the back, place one, two. Then follow this, go down one, go down one, go down another. Then go up one, then go up another and then place one extra. And then you can go ahead and just get rid of those outline blocks. Now from this block, place one, two, three, four. On the fifth block, place another and get rid of the four in the middle. So that is going to be a gap for one of the paths leading up to the fast pad. And there we have done that. So let's go ahead and move on to the shops down there. All right, now go ahead, grab your magenta concrete and come all the way down to here. So starting from this block, go the, to the third block and place magenta concrete at an angle like that. Then go to that corner, place one, leave one door for a gap, place one, two, three, four, five. So it's six blocks in all from that gap in the door. Now go ahead, grab your blue terracotta, and from this block, place one, two, th three. Oh, well, sorry. You know what? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is nine blocks in all. Then go and place a magenta concrete at an angle like that. Then go, go ahead and go um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Place a magenta concrete up there. So it's a six block gap. Now go ahead, get your blue terracotta, and place two blocks behind the magenta concrete. Now get your polished andesite and place one, two, three, then place one, two, one, two, and two down. So it should look just like this, like a very spread out M. Now go, go ahead and grab your iron bars and just place them across, just place them across the top. Actually, hold on, wait, 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 go back. From here, place one, two, three, then one, two, one, two, and two down. So just make sure you do that and place one blue concrete, sorry, blue terracotta on the very end. Place them at an angle like this, so it's like another M. And then place two, three, two down. So it's like two and two. And then from there, just go ahead and place magenta concrete like that, connecting up to the wall. So it should look just like this. Then you can go ahead and place your bars all across the polished end site. Now from here, so so place a block there. And starting from this block, place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then just go ahead and come over here and connect it right up to that side over there. And grab your red concrete and just place it all the way across like that. And that's that room now. So now we're going to go ahead and work on the locker or like what seems to be a locker area. So starting from here, place one, two, three, four, five, six. Place magenta concrete upward and place a block here. And starting from here, place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, no, that is 13 blocks. The 14th block is where you place the magenta concrete and then wrap it around and then place one, two, three. Then go up one, place one, two, three. Go up another, place one, two, three. Go up another, place one, two. Then place magenta concrete in a corner. Wrap it around that. Then place one, two, so it's two and two. Then go up one, place one, two, three. Up and under, another, one, two, three. Up another, one, two, or sorry, one, and then that's the magenta concrete, then place two. Go up one, and then one, two, three. Now this, you do not need that block because you're never going to see it, so place some uh, blue concrete over that. So it should hopefully look just like this. Now, we're going to place in all of the different colored lockers. So grab yellow concrete, orange concrete, and light blue concrete. 
and now you do not have to copy this but you can go ahead and do it if you want to but just follow what i am doing here in the exact same order that i am doing this once again you don't have to copy the exact same order you can make it however mixed up you want but this is just how i am doing it and the spaces make sure you copy the space in between all of the lockers And then once you are done with that, that is this whole, that is the customer service area all now done. So let's move on. So now we are going to be creating the stairway, the small little room here, and the stairway that leads up to the faz, um, the faz pad. So leave a two block space there and place red concrete, then place two quartz bricks and two stone brick stairs. Place one, two, three, four. On the fourth block, place one, two, three, four, five light blue concrete. Then get blue terracotta and follow along, just connect it there. On the second block there, that is going to be a door there. And then just have that there for a door. And now the stairs. So we're going to go ahead and place one, two, um, I believe, and no, and three. So it is four sets of stairs in all. Yes, it is. It's, some of it is going to cut into the wall there, but you're not going to see that because that giant green pillar will be in the way. So grab more stone bricks. Oops, wrong stone bricks. There we go. Now place one, two, three, and place one more. So it should look just like this. Now just go ahead, outline all the stairs with the quartz bricks. Same thing here. And just leave it there, just for, for now. Leave it right there. Um, wait, there we go. All right. So now to add more stairs, Add one, two, three, four, and four sets of stairs, and add gray concrete. So this is going to be the outline for the door that leads to the kitchen of the Faz Pad. And you can... Alright, so yeah, that's that. So go ahead and outline all the stairs with the quartz bricks. And that is this stairway. We will do this office area eventually in episode two. Uh, for right oh, you gotta be kidding me, it's raining. Great, one sec. All right, there we go, much better. Okay, now moving on to the kitchen. Um, place two blocks there, starting from this block, place one, two, three. Uh, on the fourth block, place one, two, and grab black concrete and place one on the very edge. So it should look like that. Um, from there, on this block, place one, two, three, four. And then on this block, place one, have one for a door, place one, so that's the door leading, leading to the main fast pad. From this block, add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is ten blocks. Go one block block, place polished andesite, have place four extra blocks, and place a polished andesite there. So it should just look like that. Now connect this down just to the black concrete. Once we have done that, we can now move on to the main fast pad. So come down here and have green terracotta. You're going to place one, two, three. Um, keep it three blocks and go one, two, three, four, five out. And it should look like this. Go ahead and place a magenta concrete that is not lined up. All right, so place one more. Actually, I missed a block. So that is six blocks in all with magenta concrete on the end. It should line up just with the bottom block below. Now place one, two, three, four magenta. Go below it, place one, two, three, four. So that is four. Then go down, place one, two, three, go down one, place one, two, go down one, place one. This is where the fences will go, so go ahead, place your spruce fences, and go out, make sure to go out one, so it fully covers the whole area, so it should look just like that. Now, from here, go ahead, grab magenta concrete, place one more, go down one. From this block, place ten blocks, and then go ahead, place one red concrete, right there. Now, place one upward, and now, go ahead, place 
um, black stained glass all the way across and raise up the red concrete by one, so it should look just like this. Now, for some people who struggled here before, bring this all the way here and bring the red concrete all the way down so it matches up perfectly with that. And now we're going ahead and add, continuing adding the walls for the fast pad. So bring all of the green terracotta out to here and bring out one, two, three, four, five. Go up one, across two, up one, and then up one, up two. So it should look something like that. Then from here, just go all the way across and place red concrete so it should match up just like that. And now, let's see. No, all right. So now we're just gonna work on this entry that goes all the way to here. Okay, so I have messed up once, once again. Um, this is not, this is not a very big mess up, and it's a pretty simple fix. So, as you can see, this is not lining up. So we have to move that one block over. Now get rid of all of this until it goes to that block. Now from here, place one, two, three, four. So it would be four blocks on the fifth. Go down one. Then go down again. Like just copy the same thing so it looks like that. Now instead, just go down two. So and just get rid of that. So go ahead, just copy this so make sure it looks just like that. And now we can go ahead and line this up perfectly. So go ahead, grab your um, black stained glass. Place one on the side. There's going to be the double the double door there. And grab your quartz bricks and just place them all the way across until they line up with the red blocks right there and grab your let's see no grab your, go ahead um just fill it in with the glass black glass panes as the side railings until it matches up with the red blocks there And then after that, we can now, um, we have the whole fast pad area done, and all we have to do, we have gotten that. So now all we have to do is just work on these stairs. Alright, so now go ahead and come down to here. You will need light blue concrete and purple stairs. Not purple stairs, because there's no such thing. The purple stairs. And you also need blue stained glass panes. So, go all the way to here, starting from this, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. On the 8th block, start going up like this, so that is 5 up, and it should line up just with the pillar. So starting from the 8th block, it should go up until it lines with the pillar, and place 3 purple blocks across, so that's 1, 2, 3, and that is 4 sets of stairs. And just do the same thing with the light blue concrete, just go all the way across. And now just fill it in with the blue stained glass panes. Make sure it looks like that. Same thing on this side. And that is that. Now let's do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four sets of stairs. And then just add the light blue concrete on both sides and add the blue stained glass panes on that side as well. Now working on up here, you are going to need white and black concrete again for the tiles. So starting from here, place one, two, three, four, five. And then go all the way across until it gets to the light blue concrete there. Or no, sorry, skip that light blue concrete. And then just fill it all in from there. Alright, now um, grab regular stone. So put in two checkered tiles there and add stone going across like that. Um, so here, you are going to line the stone up with these walls, you cannot see them, but here add magenta concrete, so that is actually part of, my, part of the build, so add that magenta concrete there, and then bring the stone out all the way until before it hits the, hits the magenta concrete. So the walls will be right here, so uh, this is just an example, do not build these stone walls, but this is just an example where the walls are going to be. So just bring the stone out like one block before the walls go down. So eventually the walls will look like that, but do not add that, that is just an example. We will add the actual walls in just a couple minutes. And just bring the stone all the way across to there, matching up with the checkered tiles. Same thing there, it is all identical. Now let's go ahead and place the second set of stairs. So once again, so I'm just setting these up. So three blocks wide where the stairs are going to go. Go upward four times. So one, two, three, four, lining up with that red pillar. Same thing there. 
And now grab your purple stairs and just go up one, two, three, and four. And just do the exact same thing on this side. And then just line it up with the blue stained glass panes. Okay, now that we have done that, we can go ahead and grab the black stained glass panes and just place them across as a railing. Now we're going to fill in these walls. So place the magenta concrete going all the way up like this. Same on this side, all the way back. All right, now we're going to head and add this slope of the stone. So get your post and in sight. And just place three across like that, going up to that red pillar. And then place stone going across there. And make sure it lines up one below the polished and the side. So it should look just like this. And just grab your magenta concrete and just fill this side in so you cannot see that wall. Now, do not place those two magenta blocks there. I just want to let you know that at this point in the video, this is where a couple things get confusing, but it does not last for very long. So I do mess up here just a couple of times just to let you know. So first of all, get rid of this and place this here. So get rid of that polished genesis. Actually, no, keep the polished genesis. Right? Just move it one block so, or, or just move it one block up. So it should look like that. It should line up with the stairs. And here we go. Here's where some of the messing up stuff parts starts to happen. So I've gotten rid of the polished andesite and replaced it all with stone. So this is where you want to place the this is where you want to place all of the stone. It should line up all with the red concrete. Now the, it should line up perfectly with that so it should all look just like this. All nothing else has changed except for that one end of the slope right here. So keep all of that there. But for now let's go ahead and work on the second side of the stairs. Alright, so I have finished this side of the stairs, so go ahead if you needed to pause that video to see it. But here, place five blocks out and go all the way across until it lines up with this blue, light blue concrete. And then just fill all of this part, all of this stuff in here. Alright, once you have done that, um, let's go ahead and add this, this set of stairs here. So line it up, so make sure it's perfectly like that. Bring it all the way up until it hits that red pillar. And just bring one, two, three. Now, I'm sure you can see that there is no fourth stair. So, do not add this, and I will tell you why. Alright, so, I have messed up not too badly. Alright, I have added this fourth stair, so actually, no, keep it three stairs. I did that on the exact same side as well. But as you can see, it is perfectly identical. The only change I made is this part right here. This whole little row, I just lowered it down just by one block. So it used to be up to here. All I had to do was just lower it down. Now, there's one thing that you may have trouble on. I had to restart the whole entire elevator and lower it down one block. That is one change that you need to make. As you can see, this is perfectly lined up here. Everything is perfectly smooth. So, I know this may be confusing for a couple people, but now it looks perfectly identical um, to all the stairs and everything. So, go ahead and do that. If you need to pause the video to do that, um, once again, lower everything down by one block, including the elevators. I also added stairs here. So now, what that does, um, once again, yes, I messed up here. Just add the end in sight. That, that is official. Keep it like that. All right. So yes, I had to lower the stairs down. I had to extend this just a bit so it lines up with that red concrete. You make any changes you need, uh, all the changes that you need. There are very little, I mean, so here, the stairs, it lines up perfectly with all the floors. So that's why I had to raise the block down. Otherwise, it not, it wouldn't have worked. All the, the flooring, nothing, would have, nothing of that would have worked. That's why I had to lower it down. So everything you see here, or sorry. So yeah, once again, lower all blocks down just by one. And once you have done that, you should be good to go. After that, now moving back, once again, continuing on the stairs, um, add the glass panes on these on both sides of the stairs, and add these blue glass panes on the top side of on the top of the light blue concrete. Make sure you do that, make sure you add all of this here. 
And actually, since that is actually not lining up with that side, go ahead and just get rid of this on the top. Alright, do not add that. Same thing with this side. Do not add this on this side. That is one, one minor mistake I made. So now, all everything is now even. Go ahead, grab your regular stone. We're going to work on this side now. So this part is pretty simple. First of all, the walls... Um, you can go ahead and bring these walls down all the way. I will show you a point where to stop, but bring it down to where the stone is. So, for example, make sure to cover up this part down here so you cannot see. So bring it out to where this wall is. And you want the wall to stop around there. So just line it up all the way with the stone. And just follow along what I am doing here. Now for this wall, you can go ahead and actually fill this whole thing in since it is showing into the back of that stone area. And it's also just adding the wall in for the um, Glamrock gift shop. But uh, just add it down to that point, to that area, and make sure it covers the whole back part of the stone. And once you have done that, that is all you need to do there. All right, so for the slope here, all you need to do is line it up with this bottom bar of the stairs. So just add two going upward. And same thing here, just actually add magenta concrete. No, sorry, red concrete, add red concrete in the back there. Same thing there. And it should look just like this. Uh, fix that. So it should all look just, whoops, okay. So it should all look just like this. This whole area is now filled in. And once you have done that, this is this whole area all now done. Now, the last thing we are going to do for the video, well, then follow me. All right, we are going to add this small little round roundabout area that leads into a small security office that you enter in the beginning of the game. We'll place seven blocks of red concrete going out from that magenta concrete, and then add one block there, and that's going to be another two-door gap. Now, from these two blocks, go ahead and add one, two, three, four, five. So that's five blocks from there, and then add the same thing, one, two, three, four, five. And that should be identical, identical on both sides. So now from here, go three blocks out, and on the fourth block, place one block there. So it's a three block wide hallway all around, and add two red blo concrete blocks there. So it should look like that. Now from both sides, add one, two, and a gray concrete, then one, two, and a gray concrete. So it should look just like that on both sides. So make sure it lines up just like that. Now from here, place one, two, three, four with the gray concrete. Same thing on this side, place one, two, three, four with the gray concrete and just connect it up. Now this part should be pretty easy. All you have to do is just add these walls all the way around. Make sure they are all three blocks wide. So yeah, that's two. So make sure it is three blocks on all sides of the wall. Do the same thing on this side. It should be a three block wide hallway going all the way around. Now f on the going four blocks out, place a gr gray concrete. So that's one, two, three, four, and then gray concrete. So that is a four block gap. So this is going to be the large hallway that leads to the very small security office. So what we are going to do next is add this hallway here. All right, so now go ahead. You are still going to need red and gray concrete just for the outline of the hallway. So go to this bl gray block and place two blocks and a gray. Then place one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a gray block. And then from here, place one, two, three. And from the third, place one. Have a gap for, you, for the door. And then place one, two. Then place one, one there. And then two across. And actually, go ahead and um, get rid of this. The door is actually right there. So from these two blocks, place go all the way out and all you have to do now is just um, make sure that it's a four block gap and all you have to do is just connect everything so once again it should be four blocks wide make sure everything connects perfectly all the way to that security office at that gray block in the corner so now that is this is this area all now complete so one, it should now look like this and it should kind of look like a hook and once you have done that finally it, the entire part one is now fully complete. 
And that is it for part 1 of the tutorial. I hope that this remake was a lot easier to follow and build since it is in first person. From now on, I will make all of my tutorial videos in first person so it is easier to make. Part 2 should be out possibly Friday or maybe next weekend. I'm not really sure because I'm working on my tutorial videos and my Pizzaplex videos at the same time. But that is all there is for this video, and, and if this video helped you, then go ahead and like this video. If you guys want to see more of these, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.